Thank you, everybody. Uh, we are Team Drawsom. My name is Mike. This is Claire, Wasim, and Danielle. Uh, Drawsom is a social network that allows users the ability to communicate via drawing. Uh, in the world of Drawsom, there are no words, there are no uploads, no articles, no outside links, only what you are able to create within the app. And what we rediscovered in the course of creating Drawsom is that it's uh, really, really fun to draw on a computer. Uh, in fact, as soon as we got the drawing component, up and running, we spent a good portion of our days uh, filling the app out with uh, drawings and doodles. Uh, in fact, here's a graph that illustrates the decline in our productivity to feature completeness. Uh, basically, this was just another excuse for us to make a doodle. But let's dive into the app a little bit. And to do that, Claire is going to describe some of the sketching features that make Drawsome awesome. Thanks, Mike. So in the world of Drawsom, you have three primary ways that you can communicate with your friends. You can make these really intricate masterpieces. You can comment on those masterpieces. And then you can draw messages to one another. So you can see here that I'm making this really nice hot dog man masterpiece. And what we wanted to do with the Drawsom toolkit was make something that was really fun for both serious artists and irreverent doodlers to use. So one of the things that we did was we used a library called Paper.js to implement some of the features that you see here, like subtle automatic path smoothing. Now, if you don't like something that you've made, you're always welcome to walk back and undo. And if you really don't like something that you've made, you can clear the whole canvas. When you feel like you've reached a good resting point, you can save a draft for later. And then when you're ready to share that draft with your friends, you can post it to your profile or to the gallery. The gallery is a feed of your friend's art. We can see my own art as well as Claire and Wasim's, the two people I follow. If I want to follow another user, like Mike, for example, I can simply navigate to his profile and click on the follow button. When I do that, I'll be able to see all of his masterpieces as well, like this beautiful four-legged chicken. At the bottom left of the screen, you can see all of your contacts or all the people that you follow, and you can message them. This section persists on all parts of the site so that you can send messages from anywhere within Drawsom. Messages in Drawsom use WebSockets to allow users to communicate with each other or draw with each other in real time. As soon as one user lifts their mouse, it appears on the other user's screen. In the gallery, you can also click on a masterpiece in order to see a larger version of it or you can navigate to that user's profile page, which my teammate Wasim will tell you more about. A key feature of any social network is the ability to interact with friends. You can navigate to a friend's profile page by finding them in the search bar at the top of the app or by clicking on their name anywhere in the gallery. And so here we're going to get a closer look at this sunrise. Uh, it's a beautiful sunrise that really highlights the skill and technique of this particular artist. Users can leave comments uh, to masterpieces, which we call dramas in Drawsome. Uh, since there's no text in Drawsome, these comments themselves are also drawings. So that's Drawsome. We really enjoyed making it, and we thank you for allowing us to present it to you.